do you happen to be in a good mood today? Huh? Oh, hi, honey. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good today. Why? 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 Um, I got something to tell you, but if you're in a bad mood, then I'm not going to tell you. Oh, wow, honey. Um, I don't think there's a worse possible way you could have started this conversation. What did you do? Suit yourself. Uh, take a seat, would you? Oh. Okay. Do they do postpartum lamage classes by chance? Oh, God. What is it? You have money, correct? Last time I checked. Why? Mm -hmm. Now, how much money would that be, approximately? Mm -hmm. I'm going to take that as probably not enough to cover it. Just tell me, honey. Just tell me. What did you buy? What did you buy? What did you buy? So, you know I wanted to buy a Volkswagen for my Barbie? Mm-hmm. I don't think I read the dimensions, right? <sighs> Hope you like your new car. You have massively fucked me over. Uh -huh. I will never think of you the same. Yep. Enjoy your bad karma. Right. Rotten hell. Right. Evil bitch. How does it feel to be voted the most hated man in America? Right? In a country full of Neanderthals, I wear the fucking badge of honor. All right, pull out the rumors that you're mentally imbalanced. Who the fuck said that? Mom, I think I have depression. Sweetie, you're five. And what are, you, what are you doing on the ground? What? Get up. I simply cannot. The pressure of this world is too much to bear. Honey, you're in kindergarten. The most stress you have is figuring out what end of the banana to peel. Are you invalidating my emotions? Sweetie, no, it's, I just, it's, I, you, I, <laughs> you know what they say, be yourself because no one else wants to be you. I don't think that's how it goes. Don't be ashamed of who you are. That's your parents' job. Honey, I'm not ashamed of you. These are creative. If I never try, nothing bad can happen. No, sweetie, you really shouldn't talk like that. That's actually not very good for your mental health. When wife knocks you down, stay down and take a nap. Okay, any, you, got, you got anything else? Apparently, Rock Bottom has a basement. Oh, ouch. No one has made this dramatic of a change yet. No one has made, in my generation, this extreme of a switch. And I am the first in the generation. It is very scary, but someone's got to do it. Let me just slam my head in the car door of my Honda Civic. That's how much I'm worth. I didn't shame anybody. That's the difference between what they did and what I did, you see. They went out of their way to say something shitty about me, right? The way I look, the way I dress, I'm too fat, I'm too skinny, I'm too plastic, I'm too dumb, I'm a whore, I'm a slut, I'm a da 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 They went out of their way to pick me apart for something specific. Here's what I did. I just posted their pictures they decided to put publicly on the internet and showcase them in a light bigger than what they have. So if anything, they should be thanking me for giving them a bigger platform. Because if you're disgusted by those sheer images, I didn't say anything negative about them at all. I just reposted what they posted about themselves. I said nothing about how they look. I just showed you how they look. Hey, yo, 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 birth giver. What's for dinner, homie? Hi, sweetheart. I thought I dropped you off at school this morning, not Detroit. Cousin Tate. Anyways, I'm starving, and I think you should whip me up some grub, woman. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're nipping this one in the bud real quick. Sweetheart, what? What's on, what's on your nose? Huh? Oh, yeah, I do got a pretty cute nose. I got a master's degree in adorability. No. The thing in your nose. Oh, that? Oh, yeah. Everybody was giving them to each other on the playground today. Huh? Chill out, hot stuff. It's not even real. Oh, well, shoot. That's pretty cool. So it's one of the... Ow! What the heck? Oh, my God. Honey, you said it was fake. What's going... Yeah, they, they said it was fake. Well, honey, how'd they give it to you? My friend Jimmy took a safety pin that he spit shined off on his jeans and shoved it into my nose. What part of that sounds fake? Apparently the part where my friends said they wouldn't lie to me anymore. Did you know? Did you know that for the small price of five bucks per lobe, you can get your ears pierced at five below? I'm not kidding. This is, I'm... <laughs> Your ears pierced at five below. If you got a five, if you got a five, you got ten. Whoa. Walking out of there looking like a million bucks. 
if I got my ears pierced at five below, the needle would be going through my jugular into the other complete side of my neck. There is no goddamn. You're asking too many fucking questions. What are you, the police? What are you, the fucking police? Get out of my asshole. Why can't I drink alcohol? You're five. That didn't answer my question, Mom. Because, honey, it's grown-up stuff and I'm the grown-up. Then why are you so small? Each day I sense you try to fight me physically and um, that's not going to go well for you, honey. I'm like a spider monkey. I could take you. Stop trying to fight me. God, why do you want to drink alcohol anyways? I don't know. You just seem like you have fun when you drink your wine. I don't see why I can't have a just a little bit of a just a little bit of a tipsy. Honey, honey, it's being tipsy, not getting. Uh, it's, uh, uh, no, no, stop it. Stop. No, no. Fine, fine, fine. Be that way. Be that way. I swear to God, she's gonna kill me. Mom, answer me this. Why is there alcohol in my mouthwash then? For fun, honey. For fun. I can get drunk on mouthwash. No, 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 no. Oh, really? What's your major? Oh, it's mathematics. Wow, you're so smart. I could never do that. I cannot keep having the same conversation. Hi, Mom. Um, how far away is the closest hospital? What? Yeah, just out of sheer curiosity and no specific reason why whatsoever, I was just wondering if it would be within the next 30 minutes of right now, respective... 20 minutes of right now, respectively. What seems to have preempted this question, my lovely child? There was earwax in my ear after I got out of the tub. Was there, sweetheart? And what did you do to solve this problem? Well, I was watching videos of people siphoning gas on YouTube. Well, I can't... Okay, stop the problems right now. Okay, what did you do? What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? I might have taken one of your metal straws and put it in my ear canal and... Sweetie, let me see what you're talking about. Did you try to take it out? I fixed it. My body don't piss me off again, ladies and gentlemen. About a year and a half ago, I was diagnosed with postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome on top of a plethora and spreadsheet of other bullshit. Well, in order to counteract the POTS, which basically means my heart don't pump the blood through my body enough. So instead of running on full, I'm running on 65% full at all times, um, which means that if my heart rate spikes, I pass the out, which does not pair well with a panic disorder. Um, so in order to counteract that, I was told to start supplementing with certain vitamins, but most importantly, electrolytes. Stop drinking your caffeine and start supplementing with certain electrolytes. So every single day, once or twice a day, I would have an electrolyte drink with no caffeine, no sugar, um, but I would drink them to try to make my heart pump better. And I started feeling like shit. I started feeling like shit. And I feel shit for other reasons, but this is one of them. Um, and so I was talking to my psychiatrist and they're like, we're going to do some genetic testing on you before you try to go on any SSRIs to see what SSRI works for you. But there's also something you can check for. And it's a genetic mutation. This genetic mutation is called the MFTHP. What? No, I was right. Um, it's the MFTHP gene. And a majority of people actually lack it or are, don't have enough of it. Well, this gene is integral in our mental health and our physical health, especially when it comes to turning food into energy, right? If you don't have that gene or you don't have enough of that gene, that means certain food groups you can do not metabolize the same way in your bloodstream. Not only do they not metabolize and become bioavailable, but they can actually change the chemical compound of certain foods into something else. Well, I found out that one of the vitamins that I need to be supplementing for my pots and a couple other things, and everybody is usually deficient in the vitamin B12. Well, when we take vitamins, it's kind of mixed in with other things. They're kind of chalky, they have synthetics in it, da 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 da. Well, I was looking on the back of my electrolyte drink, and then next to my B12 vitamin that's in my electrolytes, there's this thing called cyanosobalamine. Do you see those letters, those first four letters? It's called cyan. What I didn't realize is that with my genetic mutation, that chemical compound does not get metabolized properly. It actually turns into something else. Do you know what that chemical compound has been turning into my bloodstream for the past year and a half? Cyanide. 
cyanide. I have had um, cyanide in my body, lack thereof, or more than lack thereof, for the past year and a half. Because I thought my supplements were supposed to make me feel better. But lo and behold, because I have a certain genetic mutation, I have been poisoning myself for the past year. And there's certain things that I used to love to eat that I can't eat anymore because my body doesn't process them properly. Dairy, gluten, certain kinds of nuts, um, red meat, eggs, uh, basically uh, all the fun stuff. So, if you're dealing with a plethora of health complications, go get genetic testing done. Because your electrolytes could be turning into cyanide in your bloodstream. Yo, why didn't you abort me? Hmm? How come I wasn't aborted? Okay, honey, it's because, and if you, it's, you, I, you're, here. I'm just saying I don't think it's fair because Kimmy's little sister just got aborted and they celebrated it. They, they celebrated it, honey, honey, that's not, if, if well, did, you. Well, I feel like chopped liver because they had pot stickers, emoji, a party princess that looked just like Mulan, and they listened to cool music the whole time. What do I get? Okay, wait, wait. Kimmy, the bakers that live down the street, right? I know, and we weren't invited. What piece of sh Are you referring to Kimmy's little sister, Ling? Yeah, the one that looks just like none of the family. That's what I thought. She's adopted, honey, not... Oh, what's the difference? Hi, everybody. How are you? I missed you guys so much. Oh, sweet heavens on earth. Honey, did you suck off a beehive? What happened? Oh, no, I got... <laughs> I got a little, uh, little, little work done. It really, really minimal, actually. <laughs> what is in there? It looks so, so stiff. Did they use like cement, or like slime? No, it's um mainly just Juvederm and then um some f just filler, just filler. You look like if Val Kilmer and Jennifer Coolidge had a baby. Jesus Christ, honey. I'm on, I, I'm in front of the camera all the time, so I think this would just give me that little bit of hits uh, that I needed to stand out. Honey, what's gonna happen to your body when we bury you? When you die, right? That's not biodegradable. You're gonna just release toxins into the earth. You are the carcinogen. <laughs> Doesn't even last forever. Like this will all just disappear in six months. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's how that works, honey. Someone lied to you. Okay, it's just gonna move, right? These lips are gonna end up. Somewhere dumb. Do you know how much money I spend to look like this? Honey, you could have used that money to improve the mental, right? The physical don't mean much if they're not nothing up there. You know what? I'll, ke I'll keep doing me. You keep doing you? Sound good? Okay, cool. Come with me to get new teeth. That's right, baby. These bad boys are artificial. I unfortunately did not win the genetic lottery and was born with peg teeth. When I got my braces off when I was 16, there was so much space between my teeth, we needed to put something over them to keep my bite from shifting. And what they don't tell you about veneers is you have to get them replaced every 7 to 15 years. And because I'm only on my family's insurance till I'm 26, I decided, let's do this now. This was right after they numbed me up and I cannot move the top portion of my lip. It also looks like I just got punched. Also, you don't get your veneers put on right away. You have to spend three weeks in a temporary denture until your veneers get crafted from the lab. And all I wanted to do was see my smile. I just wanted to see my teeth and I can't even do that shit. Plus I'm a little bruised. And I choose to get all my procedures done in the States only because I feel like I can get a more natural look and go home and rest right after it's done. Because whoever tells you that getting veneers doesn't hurt is a filthy fucking liar. Cause I'm sore, I'm still sore, it's three days ago and I'm still sore. And today's the first day I can smile. My gums are bruised, but so far I'm happy. They look natural. They look like I was supposed to be born this way and I don't look like I got chiclets in my mouth. So 10 out of 10, Darla's happy. And now we wait three weeks. <laughs> This is gonna be a long video, but if you have anxiety, depression, mental health issues, brain fog, fatigue, anything that no medication or lifestyle changes has been able to help, I might have just saved your life. I have been on any sort of mental health medication since I was in middle school. You name it, it has been in me. Zoloft, Prozac, Wellbutrin, Lexapro, Pro, the, 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 all of it. And not only did those medications not help, I feel like they actually, in most cases, made me worse. But after a literal decade of existential dread and doom and gloom, I finally met with a psychiatrist who suggested I get a gene site test. And I said, why not? It's a DNA test that will tell you what medications will work and won't work.
which would have been real nice a decade ago. But here are my results. So this right here is my list of all the antidepressants that will work and won't work for me based on my genes. Wow, would you look at that? All of the red ones I was on. So this basically says that absolutely no SSRIs are safe for me to consume. And the only anxiolytics that'll help or anxiety medication that are safe for me to take are benzos. No wonder I get hooked on hard stuff. Now this, this is the most important piece of the puzzle. Those letters are very important. M T H F R. Basically, this is a genetic mutation that does not allow your body to adequately use and make folic acid. On my test, it told me that I have reduced folic acid conversion rate. Now, what I am about to tell you, I am learning in real time. So if I say something that is incorrect, please tell me because I'm just a stupid blonde girl. So basically what was explained to me is folic acid is an essential amino acid in the body that is vital and integral in the production of dopamine, serotonin, and a bunch of other happy hormones in women hormones that make our bodies function properly. If your body does not have enough of something, it will not work. So I was told there's a very good possibility that the reason why I have anxiety depression, a bunch of other mental illnesses, is simply because I do not have enough basic amino acids in my body to produce those hormones. Now, in order to understand how this mutation happens, we have to go back to how we were made. A majority of people who have the MTHFR genetic mutation, their mothers during pregnancy took a prenatal vitamin. And if you aren't familiar, one of the main ingredients in a prenatal vitamin that most OBGYNs say is important for developing a healthy offspring is folic acid. Because our mothers were supplementing this as we were developing, we weren't taught genetically to create it on our own. My dog has the remote. Let me go grab that. And because our bodies don't know how to use synthetic supplemented folic acid, we need to get that nutrients from foods that are rich in folate. Asparagus, spinach, lentils, edamame, all the leafy greens are high in folate. But not all of us like veggies. Not all of us can supplement that adequately just throughout our diet. So I was told about this little gem. This right here is a multivitamin or a supplement. I got it off Amazon. It is called 5-MTHF, methyl folate. What does methyl mean? Well, our bodies, if having this muta 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 genetic mutate, fucking hell. So certain supplements we need to have methylated for us because our bodies cannot do that on their own. Most of these methylated vitamins are going to be your Bs, your B6, your B9, your B12. So this supplement is called methylfolate. Make sense? This right here is a one milligram tablet. One milligram, very tiny. Do you see this little guy? Non-addictive. There's absolutely no SSRI, no benzos. It is a multivitamin, a supplement. Teeny, teeny, tiny. I take one in the morning, right when I wake up, and one at night, right before I go to bed. And let me tell you, after the past 10 years of struggling with my mental health, have I never, never felt as hopeful, as joyous, as clear and crisp. I, can, I feel like I'm seeing the world from a whole new perspective. I feel like I have literally and genuinely been looking at the world through rose-colored glasses for my entire life until I fixed the problem. The moral of the story is, big pharma sucks. No, but I feel like a lot of doctors and a lot of practitioners and a lot of psychiatrists will slap on a Band-Aid instead of fixing the problem. They're like, do your own work, go to therapy, coping skills, CBT, DBT. They'll throw all the skills at you and then they'll give you a prescription. 
they'll numb you. They'll give you an SSRI. They'll give you a benzo. They'll give you more benzos to one point where you don't even remember what it feels like to be a normal functioning human being before. You know what we can do at our core? We can make our lifestyle changes. We can invest our own money into figuring out the core problem of why these things are happening. If I had a dollar for every time a doctor told me, you have anxiety for something, I would um, use that money, wrap it around my fist to block my knuckles from the impact it was going to make with their nose. Modern medicine does not focus on the root of the problem. If 10 years ago, I had a psychiatrist that's like, you know what, let's do a genetic test on you to see what's gonna work, what's not, and maybe it's a simple fix, like this right here. I would have not had to detox. I would have not had to go to rehab. I would have spared myself so much hardship and trouble and turmoil if a little more care was given in the beginning. And I'm not telling you to go this, if you don't have the problem I have, this is not gonna do any good for you. It could even do more harm than that. But what I am explaining is if you have these issues to the point that it's hard for you to function on a daily level and nothing is helping, go get a gene site test. Get a genetic test done to see if there is something as easy as a supplement or a multivitamin you can take or a diet change you can have that is going to turn your life around. Do a full 360. And the best part is me being mentally well now is really going to help me process being physically unwell. Um, so thank you for watching this whole video and I hope it saves your life. Goodbye. What's a piece of trauma that you have that's funny? It has to actually be funny. I'll go first. So I was frequently and repeatedly essayed at my old job often. Now, at face value, this sounds terrible. Darla, why are you saying this? It's because I um was friends with Mickey Mouse at Walt Disney World. Mind you, I was also friends with Tinkerbell. Um, the funny thing is, Mr. Mortimer Mouse would get groped a hell of a lot more than my Pixie Pal would. Uh, a lot of drunk, middle-aged ladies would come and they'd go to meet Mickey and they, for some reason, think that the four-foot-eight person in the costume is somehow an adult man and not just a really short woman. So, <laughs> and then more often than not, when these drunk old ladies would come meet Mickey, they'd go to put it, their like her hand around him and just take a like a big grab of like ass. Sometimes they would like reach for his like crotch, <laughs> but in layman's terms, it was just a lot of unwanted groping. While well, there was one particular time where this bachelorette party showed up, the lady got a big handful of me, and she whispers in Mickey's ear. She says. We're staying at the Polynesian. Our room is da 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 if you want to stop by after work, honey. So what did I do? I showed up. I showed up to this lady's hotel room. Knock on the door. Tick, 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 tick. After my shift. Who's this little blonde girl? What do you want? She thought I was housekeeping. I said, hi, you invited me out to your room. And she was really confused. She's like, I don't remember you. I was like, you remember my friend that you groped? Mrs. Southern conservative lady. Yeah. Pray that gay away, bitch. What in the fuck knuckles is this? She's my girlfriend, you intolerant shit. Whoa, pump the hate breaks, Fox and Friends. I'm just surprised anyone would date you, especially Pinkie Pie from My Little Pony. I like this guy. Give him a chance. What do you mean bros built like a one-by-one one Lego piece? What even is a one-by-one one Lego piece? Yep, you're banned.